What it do, dancers? It's your boy JoJo, and I got a brand new video series for you guys. It's my dinner views. I told you it was coming, and I got two special guests today. I got Matt Kajuk. All right. What's Matt is an alumni from BMC, and then I also got a second guest for you. His name is Nathan. All right. Say what's up, Nathan. Hey, what's up? What's happening? And we also have a lot of food here. Hey! All right! All right, so wow. check out all this food. So quickly, just introduce yourselves. <laughs> let them know who you are. Let them know how you got into clogging. Let them know why you stayed in clogging. Nathan, go first. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I'm Nathan. I'm from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. I've been clogging now for about 10 years. I got into it. Both did clogging. And yeah, no, I've, I've just persisted with those things. Explain Nanner. Nanner. Explain Nana. Nanner. Nana. 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 Okay, Nana and Nana. <laughs> just to clarify. Like your grandma, Nana. but your Nana. But yeah, no, I just persisted with it. It was cool. Hey, everybody, I'm Matt. I'm from Florida, along with Joe. And you, you know, Paul, we're the three Florida boys. I've been clogging for a long, long time. My mom actually made me start when I was eight years old. She said, You're going to dance. And I said, Uh uh, dancing's for girls. So I actually went to one of her classes one time, I was hooked, I said, I've got to do this, this is super cool. So, a long time, many, many years later, you know, I still do it, I still love it, and I do it because of all the friends I've made, all the people I know, all, all the friends I get to see everywhere I go. It's always good, time. I look forward to it. We are going to make a healthy snack with Chips Ahoy, Oreo cream filled, Birthday frosting. Okay, this is not gonna be as hard as I thought. But it's gonna be good! And at the same time, you're gonna get to know how it was like to clog in Europe with Matt, and then how it's like to clog in America with the Australian. Alright, Nathan, so tell us tell us what it's like to like clog here in America for you. Like what's the biggest difference? What's the craziest thing? Man, clogging, I guess, in America is it, it, it's bigger with the, the competition scene. So it, it's been amazing. I've been to a couple of competitions now, Myrtle Beach, and I'm now in Arizona. So, I mean, to see all the different, you know, levels of dances, that's yeah, that's that's exciting. Is there anything you like the most about clogging in America? The people. The people are awesome. It's awesome to go around and and meet different groups, different you know, different skill levels, different backgrounds, traditions. It's it's awesome. It's, you got a, a huge bunch of, yeah, variety. Can I add Yeah, what did you like to add? Sun chips. Matt, so in in Europe, what was the biggest difference between Europe's clogging and America's clogging? There really wasn't that big of a difference. I was worried because I'd never, I've never taught in another country. I was afraid that I didn't speak any German, that they weren't gonna understand me, it was gonna be this big language barrier. But everybody knows at least some English, and all the clogging, all the terminology is also in English. So I didn't have to learn the German word for basic or the German word for... There was no language barrier. So in a way, it didn't feel like it, I was in a different country at all. And they were so friendly. They were like, I am so glad you're here. You are from another country. Welcome. So tell them, tell them like what you would like to take back to Australia, or like what you would like to see change in Australia. Yeah. For the most part, like that you've taken away from American clogging. To take a lot of tradition away from from the American style of clogging, like you can you can watch a lot of stuff on on YouTube and you know mimic and, and try and be like what you see on YouTube. To come over here and actually learn from those who have kind of been around with clogging, you know, for a while. It, it's kind of cool to hear about some traditions. We would love to build it up, yeah, increase the dances that we have back then. That'd be, that's the ultimate goal. So you both met each other up in Europe, yeah, yes? Europe. Yeah, Explain how the workshop atmosphere went for you guys. At the, at the start of the trip, went to Prague, and we just did, I think Prague put on an um, exhibition um, for us to have a look at. That was really cool to see, to see their level. We did a few teachers with them, and they picked stuff up really quickly, which was, which was really cool to see where their level is at. Heading to Germany was, was a really, a really cool, cool experience to see the workshop format. It's very similar to you know your, your kind of ordinary workshop, but they were able to bring a lot of culture to it. So we had some good German food, we had some good German beer. Yeah. Um, oh, the beer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thought, 
Pepper Bison. Pepper Bison. <laughs> so what did you like about it the most? Like hanging out with him, hanging out with the other instructors? So Jeff Driggs had said, oh, I'm bringing Nathan Ballard. He's from Australia. He's super cool. You're going to love him. I'm like, that's cool. And I'd never, no offense, I'd never heard of him. I'm like, who's this Nathan Ballard kid? The minute we introduced ourselves to each other, we were like, we were friends. It was cool. It wasn't awkward. It wasn't like, I don't know that I want to talk to him. It was, it was cool. You might get a Christmas card, but I make no promises. So Nathan, tell us, tell us a little bit of how it's been for you in America and like what like you plan on taking back to um, Australia. Really come over just to have a look at all aspects, like from competition to workshop, into studios, into just a recreational club. How things are being done differently, um, the cool things that you know are being um, experimented with, I guess in some cases, and really take that back and apply you know, what, what we need to back home, and it's going to be, it's, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time, but I think we've got a good group of guys back home, I guess. What this scene is like in a, if I were to go to a clogging workshop in Australia, yep. down under, yeah. what, um, what would it be like? You'd have kind of, I guess, similar to the workshops um, that are out here. You'd have, you know, up to 100, 100 plus dancers, and we'd all come together. We have a lot of um, local instructors who can put together some great routines. <laughs> So if you guys want to ask these guys any more questions, the link to their Facebook page is in the description box below. And our beautiful snack that we made is right here. Yeah, so looks really good. Looks super healthy. I don't know how we're going to split it. So maybe thirds or two halves. And split then... it? This is mine. Y'all figure it out. Um, um... Well... Anyways, like I said, it's been fun, it's been real. We got a good conversation in with Nathan and Matt, who is now eating our sandwich food. Thief. Sandwich thief. But if you guys like this video, comment, like, and share. I will see you guys in the next one. Check out my next weekend video, and we will holla.